Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly Tuesday tutorial and this week I'll be showing you how to create a soundboard now if you don't know what a soundboard is it is basically a load of buttons on the screen that individually play different sounds now already on my project setup it's a view based application for the iPhone I've named it soundboard and I am using the new Xcode 4 and on my desktop here I have my six sound files they are in a WAV format which is the most friendly format for playing sounds on your device so before you import your sounds into your project make sure they are in WAV format as it can save a lot of hassle later on in the project so the first thing I want to do is highlight them all and simply drag them into supporting files make sure they copy to the destinations group folder just in case you need them on later on in your project and now we can add our framework our audio toolbox framework and by doing that we go to our build phases click on link binary libraries click on the plus symbol and type in audio and it should appear here audio toolbox framework and simply press add so once that added, we go straight to our view controller.h and just after the import here, we need to import our audio toolbox. So we just type in hashtag import space, the arrow pointing left, and we type in audio toolbox forward slash audio toolbox.h and end that with the opposite arrow. And there's no outlet, so we just go straight to our action button. I'll zoom in so you can see. We type in dash bracket ID action bracket and I'll name it the six buttons all together so I'll just name them all sound and the first one will be one and that very semicolon and to save time we can simply copy that paste it so we have six all together and rename them so this is number two three four five and six we can simply save that. You want to pause it now and catch up on any of the coding. But I'll just zoom out now. So we have our six sound buttons there, named sound one to six. We go straight into our view controller.m. And after the implementation, press enter a few times and we'll start with our first action button. Type in dash bracket IB action bracket. And we named it sound, so we just start with sound one, space, curly bracket, and press enter. And now we type in capital CF bundle ref space main bundle space equal sign space capital again CF bundle get main bundle. There we go. And at the end of that, press semicolon and enter. And again, capital CF, and this time it's URL ref, space, sound, capital file, capital URL, ref, and that with a semicolon, and press enter. And this time we type in sound, file, URL ref, space, equals, space, capital CF, bundle copy resource URL there we go and in the first highlighted section we type in main bundle after the comma in the second highlighted section we type in bracket capital CFS string ref and then after that we finish it with a bracket and after the bracket we type in space at symbol quotation mark and the name of our first sound which my one is named sound one and that have a quotation mark and then after the comma in this highlighted section we type in capital CFSTR space bracket quotation mark and the, f the format of our sound file which is WAV quotation mark on that and then finish it off with a bracket and after the comma in this highlighted section we simply type in null. Then after the bracket there, simply 
semicolon, and we press enter. Let's press enter twice. And then we type in UI and 32 space sound capital ID semicolon. Press enter. Now we type in audio services create system sound. So audio services create system sound. It's just here at the top. And in the first highlight section, we type in sound file URL and after the comma we type in the at symbol and simply sound ID after the bracket there we do a semicolon and press enter and then this time we type in audio services play system sound so audio services play system sound this is play system sound it should be here somewhere there we go Let's just sound in this highlight section. We simply type in sound ID, and then after the bracket there, end it with a semicolon. Press save to zoom out, and we can simply highlight the entire code here. Copy it and paste it so we have six altogether. Two, three, four, five, six. Now we need to change it. So each one goes with each button, so change that to sound 2, I'll just zoom in a little bit more. So that second one will be sound 2, and the sound file will be sound 2 again. And the third one will be sound 3, and the sound file, sound 3. Let me just scroll down a bit more. And then sound 4, with sound 4, I'll just zoom out now. Sound 4 and sound 4. Now sound 5. We sound five all the way down to number six. Very simple how to make a soundboard. It's just repeating the same button over and over again, making sure that each button plays a different sound. So once that's all all okay, we simply save that. We go straight to our soundboard view controller .nib, and then we need to bring up all our objects. So we simply click on the square at the top with the grey shaded rectangle on the right. This will bring up all our utilities. And we need six buttons all together. So I just made this a reasonable size there. Just place it there. Just copy and paste it so we got two either side. That looks about right. And then select both of them. So we have two and then another two which makes six. And click on our files owner. And in the actions here, we simply drag sound 1 to the first button and something simple like touchdown, sound 2 to sound 2, sound 3 to sound 3, sound 4 to your fourth button, and so on until you've got all six of them connected up. Touchdown and the final one, sound 6 and touchdown. Now we can save that and go straight to build and run. Let's make sure it's in the iPhone simulator. Yep. Now there should be no problems with my tutorials as all the coding as usual is perfect. So we just wait for it to load now. These soundboards get very, very popular as the most recent one was that Rebecca Black It's Friday one. There's quite a few Justin Bieber ones though and all similar stuff like that. It's great fun and it's an app worth making. So just wait for it to load now. Make sure my sound's turned up, yeah. Okay then, so I have six random files all together. So the first button will play my sound one. It's a little gunshot. The second one, some fireworks there. Some weird alien laser in the third one. Fourth one ringing a bell. That sounds like an explosion, the fifth one and the sixth one. I don't know what that is, it sounds weird. But there you go, that's how you make a simple soundboard. So I hope this helps you in any of your projects or apps at the moment. Make sure you subscribe. Also, favourite and thumbs up the video so you have it for future reference. Leave me a comment or send me a message when I request any tutorials or give me some feedback on how I can improve my tutorials. And make sure you follow and like me on Facebook and Twitter. 
All the links will be in the description as well as the links to some of my apps which are currently in the App Store. But for now, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all next Tuesday in the next tutorial.